And then we're going to, let's just console log the data to see it coming back right now. Okay, so, and oh, we need to share the page here. So we'll do this. There we go. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, so when the user goes to the user's route, right, it's going to call the build function here, which will build users, which this guy here is build users, right? That's going to notify the server, which goes to the server here and says socket emit with my message, which in this case happens to be this message right here. That's going to go to the worker. It's going to map out to the data route and data resource, which happens in this case to be, uh, well, let's close down a few of these things real quick. Um, come on, start up. Users index. That's going to create a results, create a function. It's going to do whatever, however you get your data. And it's going to finish, which emits back the results, right? Okay. And I think I forgot one more thing. Yeah, we need to add a, um, need to add a users page here. Users, use users.jade h3 users okay all right now hopefully everything here will go correctly yeah. <laughs> all right so let's restart this here load a page we'll notice we get the dashboard we get about user and control shift i and okay sorry about that my daughter came in okay so now, moment of truth, users. Oh, build users. Well, we got build users. That's good. And then, well, nothing was listening. So that probably means I didn't include the users file in the um, in the index file. So and I did not. Yes. Okay. So I messed up. Let's see users. Okay. Right. Well, I don't actually need to do that, but it's all right. And we got back the users. And here's the first one, John, and the second one, Nick. Now we want to display them on the page, right? Well, I'm going to save that. Oh, actually, you know, we have time. Let's do it right now. So what I like to use in this case is Templatizer because I like Jade. So there are several ways to install Templatizer. Um, the very first thing we need to do is create a templates folder. So let's minimize some of this stuff. It's hard to see what's going on here folder templates okay okay we need to install templatizer oh well oh well npm install templatizer save oops did i not there we go I promise I fixed that in the last few videos and I didn't. I, I promise I'll get to it. <laughs> Come on, templatizer. What's going on here? Oh, that's right. Hold on. And that's right. There's a problem. I think there's a problem with that one. I need to grab the 152 one. So I'll do 15.2. I believe that's the build I was using before. And. Come on. Yes. Okay. All right. So I need to add templatizer. So that goes in the server. And I already copied and pasted the link. What this is going to do is this is going to um, use templatizer to take the templates directory here and or yeah here and build a templates JavaScript file. So we're going to be able to essentially call a JavaScript function on the client side that will allow us to um, to take these files and, and handle them that way. Okay, so now we need to include these things. So let's go to the index J. It says public JS templates. Okay. So let's include that up here. Um, what did I call that? I just looked at it and I forgot already. <laughs> it's a uh, templates. Okay. There's that index templates. Okay. All right, so now we're going to have our templates. So let's build one. So let's see, new file here. We'll save this as users.jade. We need to loop through all the users, right? We have John and Nick over there. So var i equals zero. 
variable i less than users dot length and i plus plus and then we'll let's do let's you know what let's do this let's just build a table table dot table table hovers hover with t head oops t head tr t oops t h we're gonna do um id and th name and we're gonna do t body and for each table row we're gonna loop through each one like so say tr td oops, equals users dot d and td users dot name okay so now we have a template so we can pass in users into this function here it'll build a nice template for us so now we need to actually call that function okay Let's clean up some of the stuff a little bit. We don't need workers. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Our server. We do need a div here. So let's do div. Let's say users table. We'll grab that guy here. We'll say, let's see, um, bar display equals. Let's create an object to put that um, table in. So display dot table. Oops. Body. Now you can name this however you want. This is just doing a quick you know, demonstration. I don't know if I'd do this this way in production. Um, but okay. So now we need to go here. We're going to take um, var users equals to data dot users, right? So we need to take that display dot t body. We need to empty it to make sure. So we when we refresh the page. Or when we go back and forth between like about and dashboard and whatnot, the page gets built dynamically. Empty HTML. So templatizer. And remember, templatizer we included in the Jade here, um, didn't we? Yes, we did right here. Templates. Okay. Templatizer. So we're going to grab in the user, which I'll show you this actual file here in a minute. We'll see user users. Excuse me. And then we need something to pass in, right? Just like this, we'll say users of from users. Okay, so this should work. <laughs> okay, so let's build it first. So we'll do here. There we go. Now, templates should actually have the public. Let's see here. We'll close this stuff down here. Templates. This is a template function function that got built by the server. Remember right here, this built this this function here for us. Oop, where did I put that? Um, let's do this. Okay, and so you'll see we have templatizer user, which is built from this folder right here, and it creates a buffer which pushes all the data on and then builds the table, as you see, based on that JD file. So let's actually test, test this out. Let's run this. Actually, I didn't need to do that, but that's okay. So we'll do this here. We'll refresh and users, and we should get a nice table. Yay! We've got a nice table. Data from the from the server. So that's it. Pretty simple, and you can just build simple pages this way. Now, of course, the delay—that's I put that delay, and it's actually if you take the delay out, it's pretty fast. We can do that real quick. We have less than a minute, so let's hurry up on this. So I can go in here. We can actually remove this this um, delay, and then you won't see. Um, it'll be a lot faster, as you'll see. Okay, stuff here. Save. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the loading page. So we don't really don't need that. And we'll go here. Okay, we'll refresh. Console refresh. Let's see how fast it is. Fast, huh? Look at that. And when you add MySQL to this, it's just as fast. Okay, well, I want to thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, please hit the like button to subscribe and tell all your friends. Thank you so much for watching uh, Learning Socket Cluster with Nick Codenberg.